Hey, what's going on guys? This is Devon Holland doing another in-home training video. Today we're going to be working with the Lieber Equalizers. I did a video just a couple months ago and I got a lot of comments on it. So I'm going to show you guys another progression that you can do at home. It's very easy. We got beginner. We're going to work all the way up to advanced. So if you want to work in your core and your upper body, you're going to want to watch this. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first exercise that we're gonna do for any beginner to get started with this piece of equipment is an uphold. Now, all we really wanna do here is get ourselves pushed off the ground. We want our feet off the ground, and we wanna be able to hold ourselves up as long as possible. And what that does is it's gonna help build the strength in your shoulders, your back, and your arms, and your core, so you can get used to being in an up position, right? So after doing the up hold with the leader equalizers, the next movement you want to do is knee raises, okay? So you're going to hold yourself up as after you do the up hold and you're strong enough to really hold yourself up, the next thing you're going to do is bring your knees up and bring your feet back down, okay? Just to make sure you keep your balance and keep your, your form, you wanna make sure that you maintain that throughout the entire exercise. So, we're gonna go up, we're gonna go all the way down. We're gonna go up, we're gonna go all the way down. Nice control, we're not looking to just throw our legs up and come down without control. We really wanna focus on bringing our legs up in control and coming all the way down, okay? Do that about 10 to 15 times, and whenever you're able to do that easily, you can move on to the next progression. All right, the next progression from there is coming up without bringing your feet all the way down to the ground. So I'm gonna bring my knees up, I'm gonna bring my legs down, but I'm not gonna quite touch the ground, okay? As you can see, I'm getting really close, but not quite touching. All right, once you're able to do that 10 to 15 times, you're gonna move on to the next progression, okay? In this progression, we're gonna bring our legs back and bring them up and forward. So we're gonna get a little bit more stretch on our psoas and our hip flexors here. And go back and go up. All right, and as you can see, I'm not just bringing my knees up, I'm actually bringing them up in front of me. All right, so that's the next one in that progression. After that, it gets a little bit more difficult, okay? Because not only are we gonna bring our feet back, but we're gonna bring them up, and we're gonna kick our feet out, okay? So you're gonna go from bringing your feet back, up, and kick out. Nice and controlled. Woo! Starting to get a sweat in. <laughs> All right, so the next thing you're gonna do, that's for advanced. So the better and better you get at this, the more you'll be able to do. Don't try to rush yourself Build the proper strength, develop the proper discipline. Don't go swinging and throwing your body around. These things do move. So if your arm isn't stable, as you can see, it lifts right off the ground. So you want to be very disciplined when you're using this piece of equipment. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, this is the next progression for this particular exercise. This is the last progression. You're gonna bring your legs up, and you're gonna hold, okay? Bringing your legs straight out and holding. All right, this is the goal. Woo. Man, I need to learn how to hold that longer. All right guys, that's it. So you want to hold that for another 
20 seconds. As long as you can hold it, hold it. Get better at it. Get your core strengthened. And then, hey, send me a video. Let me know how well you do. What part of the progression are you on? All right. Hey, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. I'll see you next time. Time to cool off. Woo!